Did you know that 45% of American household incomes that are making six figures or more in a yearly basis are actually living paycheck to paycheck? Wanna hear another crazy stat? The US Consensus Bureau said that 20% of American household incomes actually earn passive incomes through dividends, interest, or even real estate. And out of the that 20%, they're bringing in about $4,200 a year, which breaks down to $350 a month. How could you live off of $350 a month? Month, especially in this time of year. My name is Joe Mavu with Master Life by Design and I'm excited to talk to you guys about creating financial freedom. So today's video is three simple steps to creating financial freedom. Now I'm going to jump ahead and give you the most important part of today's video and that is passive income and we want to talk about how do you create that well let me give you these three simple steps so that you can start the path and journey for that or maybe you're on it and you really want to accelerate that and if you stay towards the end i'm going to give you two awesome tips that really accelerated my financial freedom and how i did it outside of these three steps so Let's jump in. The first step is you must become a master at a skill or talent that you have. You gotta become a master at it. What I mean by that is, look, if you're gonna be a dentist, be the best dentist. If you wanna be a network marketer, be the best network marketer. If you wanna be a coach, be the best coach. If you're gonna be a best marketer, become the best marketer. The reason why is people who master their skill can demand more in the marketplace, right? LeBron James gets paid a lot more money than my my uncle because he's way better and has a mastery level at that skill than my uncle. So he's making way more than him. If you're going to be able to go out and really print money on demand, you really got to learn how to make money by being a master at a certain skill. If you look at all the successful people, they became a master, they became obsessed with their craft in one area first. Doesn't mean they don't go out and spread out, but they do it after they mastered one area. You get to charge your worth, you get to charge more. And for example, I began coaching, I would charge $1,000 a year for coaching, where now I charge $20,000 a year to work with me. Now, that's not the boost for me, but what I'm saying is I've got to a level of mastery where I can help people full time and accelerate to help them get a solution. You wanna be a master and bring that solution to the marketplace. Step number two is you have to learn how to manage your money. And the first step I believe is you gotta have an emergency fund set up. Yes, an emergency fund. Anywhere from three to 12 months of your expenses put away. So if you think I need to have six months of my expenses in the bank so I feel safe and you're making $5,000 a month or you actually have $5,000 a month in expenses, excuse me, you need to put away $30,000 in that account to have your emergency fund full. Now, I always encourage people to pay off their bad debt. Yes, there's a thing between good debt and bad debt. Everyone has a different opinions. This is mine. Oh, and by the way, I want you to know this isn't financial advice. I'm not telling you guys what to do. I'm just making the disclaimer. I am not liable for any of this. So with that being said, you want to pay off bad debt, right? I would invite you guys to pay off your bad debt, right? The good debt versus bad debt situation. Good debt is if you own an asset and you have a loan out on it, but it's paying something or someone's paying for that asset, that's good debt. Bad debt is if you go out and spend $3,000 shopping at the mall and it's all on a credit card and you have $3,000 on that credit card at 24.99%, yeah, you might have to pay that out. You really wanna pay that off actually first. Now, in order to be able to create financial freedom, you gotta know, how much are your monthly expenses? It would shock you when I ask clients, hey, how much are your expenses each month? They're like, um, uh, and I know exactly in that moment they have no clue, right? Maybe a ballpark figure, but they don't know. You want to know to the number pretty much plus or minus a hundred or two hundred dollars what your monthly expenses are. Because look, you got to know the dials in the cockpit. You're never gonna arrive at your destination if you can't read the dials and know what they mean on the cockpit. You're never, you're gonna crash along the way. I don't want that to happen to you. You gotta first step, you gotta know your basis of your monthly expenses. What is your basis of monthly expense? They are your rent or your mortgage, your food, your gas, your car payment, your cell phone, your internet, utilities, the basics to live, right? So that you could get by. That number is the first step towards financial freedom. The second number 
is your lifestyle number. And what I mean by that is, if your expenses are five grand, but you like going out to dinner each week, you go to the movies every two weeks, you like to you know, go snowboarding once a month, you're gonna probably spend $8,500 a month. That might be your lifestyle number. You wanna get clear on what those two are because those are the targets, those are the bullseyes that you're aiming towards, towards financial freedom. Now, some of you watching today, you're already financially free and you don't even know it, right? Like you might have some passive income coming in, but you don't know your expenses. I had a client like that. He had passive income coming in. I asked him how much his expenses were. He had no clue. As homework, he went to go find out and he realized that he actually had more passive income than his expenses. So he was actually financially free. So with that being said, we already just hit on number three, which is you have to invest your money to create passive income. I told you in the beginning, this is all about passive income. You want to create passive income. That's the only way you have financial freedom and you have a lifestyle where you can do what you want, when you want, how you want, with who you want. Because let's be honest, money's not everything, but it does make life easier. We talk a lot about finances and financial freedom and lifestyle on this channel. It's because we're about experiences, creating those magical moments. It, that's what freedom gives you, is ability to have more experiences, especially when you're financially free. So you have to learn how to invest. Now, you can invest in a number of passive income streams. Most successful people, most multimillionaires that I've coached, they actually created their first passive income stream, became a master at it, and then they moved on to create more passive income, right? And so what you want to do is you want to make sure that you master one skill. Now, here's some recommendations. You don't have to do all of them. You have to do, you don't have to do any of them, but you could start an Amazon store. I have a friend who, a couple friends who actually help people build an Amazon store. They do all the work for them. You just invest the money and they do all the work. Now there is a split, but they actually create passive income for you. And so if you're ever interested, I can refer you to someone. Go ahead and send an email to support at masterlifebydesign.com and then we can get you in touch with the right people. Also, you could talk about doing single family homes. You could talk about doing multifamily homes, long-term rentals, short-term rentals. You could do syndications. These are all great ways to create passive income. Now, I love real estate syndications because a couple of reasons here. Number one, you're not responsible for the debt right? The general partners are. You don't have to take care of the property. The general partners, they do that with the property management company that they put in there. And if anything went wrong with the property, or even if they succeed, which most of them do because they're experienced general partners usually, you get paid out first and they get paid out last. How cool is that? But you're not having to actively participate. You get a check in every single quarter on that cash flow. You want to be able to invest your money to create cash flow. Now, I always recommend pick a percentage of your income every single month and use it to invest into an investment that is passive. Now, what percentage? I don't know. You get to choose. I started out with 2%, moved up to 3, then 5, and then 10, and, and it started to grow from there. And so you get to pick a percentage. And why not a dollar amount? Because, well, your income might go up, your income might go down. And when you pick a percentage, it slides with you whatever direction you go. And I love real estate because you can actually use depreciation in real estate which means you pay less in taxes because of the depreciation. How cool is that? So those are the three simple steps to creating financial freedom. Become a master at your skill or your craft, and then learn how to manage your money. I gave you a couple great ideas in there. And then lastly, you wanna invest a percentage of your income into a passive or multiple passive income streams so that you can build cash flow that exceeds your monthly expenses and your lifestyle number, right? And when you do that, you are financially free and we can hang out out around the world doing the coolest things, maybe on the greatest beaches of the world. So with that, I told you if you stuck around, I give you two tips that really accelerated my financial freedom. Now you may agree with them, maybe you won't, but I will tell you they are extremely powerful and extremely helpful. And if you look at anyone who's a multimillionaire who's successful in financial situations or just even in life, they will tell you that this one is a big one. And the first one is giving. It is a spiritual law to give. When you give, you receive. As long as you have a generous heart, you're not doing it from a place of transaction. But I found out the more that I gave, the more that I got. Whether it's giving more time, if I gave my time to people, hey, Joe, I need some help, you know, I would do that. And I actually gained more freedom. And so I actually, in my household, we tie 10% on our gross income, 
right? And that's something that we do. We also give above and beyond that. We bless people during the holidays. We give to people that are around us in our life. And so we love blessing others. We just know that when we give, it's a spiritual law to receive back. And so I'm excited about that. I love giving the contribution that comes to see someone's face light up when you bless them. It just really makes you feel good and you want to do more of that. And in order to do that, you got to produce more. So it drives me to do things like make more of these powerful videos or to help people in coaching or set up a business that will help other people. So giving is the first tip. The second tip is around accountability. If you don't have a coach or someone that you kind of check in with on a weekly basis, I'm telling you you're missing out on accelerating your success. All my coaches hold me accountable to what I say I was going to do. My mastermind group, there's a group of four of us. We commit to certain action steps and I want to make sure that I fulfill those because that's my word. That's what I said I was going to do. I want my reputation to be when I say something, I do it. Now, are we perfect? Do we hit it 100% of the time? No, I miss sometimes, but you got to have that in place. In fact, there was a study done at the Dominican University of California with 267 people and they broke them into five different subject groups and they were talking about their goals. And one, they, the first study group, they didn't actually look at their goals. They just knew their goals. The second group looked at their goals daily and they started putting things on top all the way to group five. Group five, what they did is they did everything that all four groups did and lastly, they reported on a weekly basis to a coach, someone to hold them accountable. Their success rate was 76% greater than the first group. So if you don't have someone to hold you accountable, you need it. If you want to coach with me, I'll hold you accountable. If you want to work with one of my coaches at Master Life by Design, they'll hold you accountable. You must have someone hold you accountable, otherwise we can drift. And in the book, Outwitting the Devil, he talks about in that book how the devil will go ahead and try and get you to drift on other things instead of staying on your definite purpose, staying on your path. So if you're missing that piece, reach out so that you can get accountability and you can accelerate your result. And with that, guys, if you found value in this video, give it a thumbs up, go ahead and comment below, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel so that you can get more information like this that can change your life financially and create the lifestyle you want. Also hit that notification button, but most importantly, here's what I need you to do. Watch this next video. This next video is gonna help you on your journey to create financial freedom. So with that, guys, thanks for watching. My name's Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design. Have a great one. See ya.